In this problem, we are asked to find the shortest distance between the graph of y equals 9x squared and the point 0, 1. Before we dive right into this, it may be helpful to make a quick little sketch of what's going on here. So, we'll call this 0, 1. And we know that y equals 9x squared is a parabola that starts at the origin. You notice that since this is symmetric about the y-axis, it is entirely possible that there will be two points which minimize this distance. For example, we could have one here and one here that are both the same distance. It's also possible that there will only be one point which minimizes the distance is at the origin. So if at the end of the problem you find that there are two possible answers, there's a reason behind that. All right. So, we want to minimize the distance between these two points. First, start by jotting down the distance formula, which is y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared, all under a radical. All right. So, now we just need to assign what 1 is and what 2 is. So, we'll call this x1, y1, and then this will be x2, y2. All right, so y2 minus y1 is 9x squared minus y1 is 1, all that squared, plus x2 is just x minus x1, which is 0, so x minus 0 squared. Or, more simply, we can just write x squared. Now, there's a hint in the book which says that it's easier, much easier, in fact, to minimize the square of the distance rather than the distance itself. So, what that will just look like is 9x squared minus 1 squared plus x squared, outside the radical. So this is the function that we're going to try to minimize, because it's much simpler than having to deal with the radical and whatnot. So let's start by breaking out these parentheses. So 9x squared minus 1 squared, first term sign itself, 81x to the fourth minus 2 times 9x squared going to be 18x squared minus 1 squared is going to be plus 1 and then we have a plus x squared at the end and we can simplify this just by combining like terms we have x squared here and x squared there so what we get is 81x to the fourth minus 17x squared plus 1 So, if we're trying to minimize this, what we're going to need to do is take the derivative of this function. So, the derivative of the d squared x. There's a lot of d's going on right here. Make sure that capital D refers to the function and lowercase d refers to the derivative. So, 4 times 81 is 324 x to the third minus 17 times 2 is 34x, and then the plus 1 drops off. So, this is the derivative of our distance squared function, and we want to find critical points of this, when, either when it's 0 or when it's undefined. There are no places when it's undefined, because there are no x's in the denominator, and no other functions contained within it that are only defined on certain intervals. So, what we need to find is places when this is equal to 0. The most obvious one is when x is equal to 0, because you see both of our terms here have x's in them. So we'll list that as one of our critical points, or critical values. Critical points. 0. So let's find the other places that this is equal to 0. We'll bring the 34x to the other side of the equation. We get 
324x cubed equals 34x. And then let's divide both sides by x since we've already taken care of the zero case. So that becomes x squared. And this drops off. We'll divide both sides by 324. And this simplifies to 17 over 162, which is still not very pretty. And then we just take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of 17 over 162, which is not a very pretty number. All right, so we have three critical points. We have x equals 0 x equals positive square root of 17 over 162, and x equals negative square root of 17 over 162. Let's make a little number line to help us figure out where the maxes and mins are. So there's x equals 0. This is obviously not scale. I have no idea how large or small that number is. Square root of 17 over 162. And negative square root of 17 over 162. We'll extend this a little bit farther. Alrighty, so what we want to do is plug in numbers between 0 and 17, 0 and square root of 17 over 162 into our derivative function here. Find if they're positive or negative. Well, that's not a very fun task. I wouldn't recommend trying to do that by hand. But if you find some numbers in here that work well, plug them into a calculator, you'll find that we're positive. The derivative is positive between negative 17 over 162 and 0. And negative from 0 to square root of 17 of, over 62. And then it is once again positive after that. And negative before here. So we can use this to try to figure out where our maxes and mins are. So we're only really interested in the minimums because we're trying to minimize the distance, not maximize it. And we see here that since the derivative changes from negative to positive, this must be a local minimum at x equals negative square root of 17 over 162. And the same is true here. Derivative changes from negative to positive at the square root of 17 over 162. So, as I said earlier, it's entirely possible that there would be two different points that minimize the distance. And these are those two points. We have x equals positive and negative square root of 17 over 162. So let's try and find the y values for that. y equals 9 times square root of 17 over 162 squared. And then well, it doesn't really matter if this is positive or negative because the squaring will make it positive. And that becomes 9 times 17 over 162, which doesn't really make anything nice. So we'll just leave it like that for now. All right, so we have our points. They are. Call them somewhere over here, somewhere over here. We have square root of 17 over 162, comma, 9 times 17 over 162. And then over here we have negative 17 over 162, comma, 9 times 17 over 162. Now we need to figure out what the actual distance is between these points. So we're just going to want to plug those back into our distance formula, which we'll do over here. Distance is the square root of 9x squared minus 1. So we get 9 times 17 over 162 minus 1 squared plus x, which is square root of 17 over 162. 
And that's squared, so this radical drops out. So what we're left with is that the minimum distance between the graph of 9x squared and the point 0, 1 is the square root of 9 times 17 over 162 minus 1 squared plus 17 over 162, which is not very pretty, but that is our final answer.